Right, this is Scott Goldie, Project Concert 150. I am back here with my guys from Sunless Sky. Sunless We're hanging out at Empire on a Saturday night. And tonight, unfortunately enough, that Juan Ricardo was with us, the I, lead not, singer. I actually made it. See? These guys, they... John Richard <laughs> Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's been about nine months since I've talked to you guys. So what's new? Any... Uh, Somebody's knocking on the door, sorry. Somebody's knocking on the door. Come on in, Beth. Hi, how are you? It's a whole baby's door. In the last nine months, what's uh, what's been new for Sunless Sky? Anything new in music, uh, albums? We have been uh, very busy uh, writing the new record and uh, starting to get all these different tracks together. We've done a lot of shows in those nine months, uh, but we're starting to now show us some We've been, we're here, here at a show, like we're slowing down. <laughs> but we've been attempting to slow down and doing shows so we can get down to recording the new record because it's been uh, it's been a year since the release of the last record. And uh, okay. the last uh, big tour in Europe, uh, we went there for a while, for several weeks. And uh, so now it's time to start gearing up and to getting it, uh, get a new record going, so. Awesome. And if you've never seen Sunless Sky before, this guy has the golden voice of Northeast Ohio, thank Cleveland. I mean, thank it, you, thank how, you. how long have you been singing? I mean, um, I'm assuming since you were a kid. I've been singing since I was a kid, so I'm probably 150 years. close to 45 years. Old vampires. And, uh, and what, was it, what, was your, what was your upbringing in, for music? Did you start school choirs or... Uh, no, like actually, um, I just loved singing, but I actually started uh, as a drummer, playing drums. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> like this guy. Drummer boy. Yeah, they being as a drummer. drummer. <laughs> and you know what, it's one of those things is, is you're growing up, it was kind of like, um, we'd have a singer, and after a while, I'd be like, oh, that guy's just terrible. And I ended up singing <laughs> from the drum kit, and I did that. Uh, probably all, through all my early bands, all the way until I got into into like high school and college, and then okay. uh, I decided to get serious because I, I had a, a studio session. I'd gotten to the point where I was playing drums, and there was a studio session, and uh, I was in Raleigh, uh, North Carolina, uh, playing drums on a record uh, for this band called uh, Magician at the time, and so I actually did all the background vocals because the singer couldn't do harmonies really well because you only had one range and you couldn't do all these harmonies so I ended up doing all the harmonies and then um, what happened is the engineer took me aside and said wow you did a great job on those harmonies and, and he's like mixing the record and I'm like sitting there and he goes, he goes I go thank you because you have a really good voice I go thank you because he kept on it you know what I mean he goes better than the singer I said Really? He goes, oh yeah, definitely better than the singer. And he has a recording contract, and you're just a hired the dude he brought in. And I went, hmm. And that's when I sort of had that, I don't know, that thing that ticked in my head. I said, oh, you know what? Maybe I should switch gears. And I was in a band in Cleveland at the time called War Master, uh, just starting up. And I basically decided, okay, I got to make this switch. And I gave my drum set to my drummer. Because he had a, and I had a really nice set, like a Neil Pertama kit. I gave it to my drummer, and then I just went into school, went to college, and started studying vocals, studying opera, started to become serious about singing. Okay. Just, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but what about your vampire days? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, hear a little more about what, 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 how, how far up the range do you go? What is, what is your top note then? Uh, I have a four octave range. Uh, Pussy. But, <laughs> but no, you know, the, the lower end I, I never I never use. Yeah. So right. So it's it's mostly just you know, uh, baritone and alto and, and then tenor sort of vocal and vocal stuff. You know, I'm not very strong in the lower ranges, but I at one time I did mm -hmm. mess around with it. And some of the recordings you'll hear some really deep stuff, and it which I just kind of hurt my voice doing it after a while I just gave up doing that stuff. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a tenor as well and yeah. when I have to drop down into the low bass it's like, oh, let's not do this often. Right, right. Yeah. But at one time I was kind of, you know, I wanted to show that I could do everything. Mm. So, so. 
Yeah, that's and if you get to see these guys, it's amazing to watch. So what else have you been up to? I mean, you guys have been on tours. Now, this is and Mike. Was, now, was he? Well, yeah, yeah was, no, no, here's the, here's the deal. We did this interview like nine months ago, and we've had a major, major addition to the band is uh, <laughs> our new bass player, Mike. Hello. Whoop, whoop. Welcome, Mike. Hi. <laughs> So That's how did it? You... That's all you got? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So how did you come to your bass player? Ask your question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how, did you come to, how did you come to join Sunless Sky? I, uh, I met Juan in Pittsburgh at, um, at a club. I played for another band out of Pittsburgh, a metal band, and Sunless Sky was uh, doing a show with us one night. And uh, we, we sat and talked for a while, exchanged some information. We ended up doing some other shows, I think, in Sandusky. And then I, um, I heard they were looking for a bassist, so uh, emailed them and got an audition. And went from there. <laughs> okay. And I was like, yeah. we gotta have this guy. Yeah. This guy's the shit. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, we this is actually a pre-show interview, which is right. rare for Project Concert 150. But uh, I mean, I can't wait to hear this because I know it's just going to be amazing. Because I know when I saw you Buzzbin last year, you guys blew my mind away. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just, yeah, Steve, I'm just, I'm just ready to, I'm just ready to go to the moon tonight. To explode. Yeah, yeah, explode. Yeah. With me, it was uh, the the first show I did with the band was the uh, was the Pure Steel Metal Fest. It, Oh, oh, oh wow! From a, a small, um, played a couple of small venues in Pittsburgh for that. So we played with what Halloween and, and a lot, a lot of good like acts. Yeah, so. Talk about running the gauntlet of yeah. fire! Awesome concert up there. <laughs> God. All right. Anybody else have anything they want to add tonight? Is well, he has some graphic design. Oh picture. yeah, I'll mention that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, so I just uh, recently, within the past couple months, have started a visual design company called uh, Bizarre Concepts. Uh, the, it's a little, it's, it's a little punny. It's a little B and then a C and then a Z and then an A and an R because Zarnacki is my last name. So Bizarre. I'm stupid. Um, so I do lyric videos. I do album art. I do. I've done. Uh, I did the doppelganger art. I did the, the t-shirt design. T-shirt design. Look at that. Look at that. Sweet. I do all that stuff for bands. I'm really trying to specialize in lyric videos right now because it's okay. like, that's like second to music videos right now. Yeah, it's people are deal. doing lyric videos. It's a big it's deal. Like... But you, it's cool because it's like you know when you're in a band, art is your second, your second thing. So just having more cool visual art because there's so many things you can do with them, you know. I'll make them look cool. So yeah, I do that. So fans hit me up. Awesome. <laughs> um, other than that, you got anything cool, Tom? God, put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> we we want to go on tour. Other yeah. Um, really, just buckling down on this next record. Uh, we're coming up to a year of Doppelganger's release, so uh, we're trying to get uh, the engine turned here to try to. Really pump out an awesome record. Yeah, it's already March out. 10th. What the fuck is up with that? Yeah, what's going on with this that's shit? pretty much how it feels. <laughs> Might almost. as well be middle of the year All already. Right, I know, it's crazy. So, uh, you know, just uh, we played a lot of shows, I think, since the last time we've actually been able to sit down and talk with you, but uh, more shows in the works. Uh, going out, expanding our horizons, going out to playing Goodfellas March 31st. Uh, we have a show out in Rhode Island. What is that, at the end of April? Yep. Right. Uh, uh, New Jersey. 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 Yeah. Jersey. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Should be a good time. So yeah. it's really, really just kind of kicking out right now, trying to expand a little bit, hopefully be on tour soon, which I'm pretty Working sure on will it. be. Talk soon, about it. You know? So, uh, yeah. I mean, these guys are pretty all right. <laughs> so, uh, pretty all right. Yeah. They don't suck. <laughs> <laughs> And you, sir. You got and me, sir. All yes. right. Well, Mr. Meeseeks. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, you know, everyone's talking about getting the new record done and all of this, and um, we have a, uh, a cache, I would say, of of unreleased material that we have to actually. I feel like we need to get done first before we start the new record. Yeah. Uh, I would. I would. I think we have maybe fifteen or sixteen unreleased tracks right now of. of uh, some older music, but with all the new players, and a bunch of really cool new shit that we all kind of looked at each other, said didn't really fit on Doppelganger, 
uh, that we want to release. So there's a, a, a bunch of uh, ideas brewing for some EPs. Obviously, the third Sunless Sky record, which we have, you know, piles of riffs. We sit to sit down and and make those decisions. And then, of course, all the distraction of playing live shows and hey, let's go on tour. Oh, yeah. So all all of that good stuff. It's actually it's really it's it's kind of overwhelming, but it's really fucking exciting. Well, let's so, talk about yeah. the, the launch of your uh, amps. Oh well, you know I I um you know. With Sun the Sky, since I own a recording studio, you know, we uh, record all the records there and I, I produce all, all the albums and everything, but, uh, you know, I also build handmade tube guitar amps, handmade guitars and all that cool stuff, and those tube amps actually were all over the uh, last record, Doppelganger, they'll be on the... All and what's the name of your business? A custom Audio Mutation. Okay. And, you know, it's on Facebook and all that good stuff, but, uh, yeah, so there's that, and... I'm I'm actually way hyper focused on on Sunless Sky and getting that all this new music done. So it, it's yeah. it's going to be really cool. It, it's keep your ears peeled and your eyes open. It's going to be great. Awesome. And make sure to follow these guys on Facebook and uh, yep. look them up on all the places where music is sold. Get a hold of that That's last right. album. Of course, we're on Pure Steel Records, uh, which is available on Amazon. You can find go on. By Doppelganger, right on. So it's an American release, and uh, it's all over the world in 22 countries. And so you can just, uh, if you don't have a copy of Doppelganger, what the hell are you waiting for? Then all you're right. not metal. <laughs> and also, make sure if you are close, go see these guys in concert. It's amazing. And if you're lucky, they'll throw in some surprises yeah. that, uh, that you never saw coming. Uh, until those first notes hit, and then you're like, oh my gosh, uh, this is that song. We'll be in uh, Detroit. Uh, we're, we're, uh, uh, I mean, some of the bigger shows we've got Oh, yeah, we're doing that Pure we're Steel, Steel Detroit Fest. We're at the Detroit uh, Pure Steel Metal Festival, September 22nd. So if you're in the Detroit area, uh, we'll also be, there's, of course, the, the Pure Steel Cleveland Metal Festival. It's a three-day festival here uh, in Cleveland, October 26th, 27th, and 28th. Uh, if, you're in the, if you're in the area this, this year, um, and uh, of course we have, we're, we're debating on different tour opportunities that we, we keep being asked all the time, you know, to either go back to Europe or to do American tours, and we we, we bounce these things around, trying, but we're trying to get the album done, and not, you know, you know, it's not, you know, we want to get an album, new album done, and then go on tour rather than just be okay. still touring on last year's record at okay. this point. Yeah. So that old record that we're sick right. of playing. We're right. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> bands get sick of playing albums after a while? Yeah, Jeff Waters doesn't like playing Never Never Land and Alice and Hell. He's fucking sick of that shit. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. Well, thank you very thank you. much, thank you. and we'll get this up in the next couple of days or so. Right. Probably tomorrow, but next couple of days, I always promise. All right. Thanks a lot. Peace out, and let's go rock this place. Oh yeah.